Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm checking out ILM X Lab and Oculus from Facebook's Tales from Galaxy's Edge, which is a Star Wars adventure set on Batu at the Black Spire Outpost. Now as this is loading up, I will say I have played through the entirety of the game. It says you can buy an expansion. It says it's coming in 2021. Um, it, th this game was not what I expected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue my current game. It should probably load me up into Sleazel Stack's cantina. So that's Sleazel Stack. This is his cantina. And what we're looking for here in the cantina actually is a cord nest. There's one I haven't found yet. Because I don't have many people to talk to, and I like talking. Do you want to hear it now? I do not want to hear that story again, Sleazy Stack. I'll look behind the curtain here. Anything? Anything behind this curtain? But yeah, what I'm looking for right now is a single porg nest. Back here, nope. Okay, so it's not right there. So the other cool thing about this cantina, they've got a jukebox. Very nice jukebox, actually. And inside the jukebox, there's some wiring you can repair. Plays, I think. Six or seven different songs. And we're looking for a porg. Probably in the wall or hidden, nestled somewhere here. Should be something we could definitely touch. That's not going to There is this droid here. Now, I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Let's see, is there a port back there? No. So we'll check up in here. Is there a cord over here in this corridor? No, there is not. Still not seeing any porg. I see a dark board. Oh, and there's the Millennium Falcon. Just hanging out here at the Black Spire Outpost. It's unfortunate that I didn't find the port. I can also play darts here. I'm not very good at the dart game. What we're going to do now is we're going to leave the cantina. See if maybe there's a porg in here, actually. I hadn't thought about this entrance, but... Aha! There he is. We've completed the porg's nest. So by removing the porg nest, I believe that completes that. Yeah, three of three. So we'll go see Sleazel Stack now. Should be able to. I guess the cantina door has closed now. So we'll go on and we'll check out another mission. So if we go to Three Sons Overlook, right now what I'm looking for is actually 
the pilot from a ship that crash landed with me on it. Uh, his name is Jax. I took an escape pod. He took a different way down. Uh, he is fortunately a droid, and I have so far only found one part of his body. What we need to do for now is set ourselves to pieces of the pilot. That's our active quest now. And I will say this game is either fortunately if you love them, or unfortunately if you're not really a fan, a first person shooter. The beautiful landscape of Batu. Another village or so out there. So it wants us to go this way. What we're looking for is parts from that pilot. There's some Borg over there. So it's, it's got me leading in that direction. I think that's actually taking us out of this area, actually. If I remember correctly. I've got a jetpack. That's what I just used to hover this way. Just got hit a couple of times. He's going to explode now. And when these droids explode, they sometimes give me little droid parts, which I can salvage, which are worth salvaging for sure. Let's see if we can kill this guy. not want to die. Alright, so now we'll go grab some new guns. Got one on each hip. We'll take this one. Oh, and some credits. Credits are helpful. Honestly, I haven't used a single credit yet in the game. I will have to use a credit later in the game. Uh, well, ten at least, at a minimum, to do the dart challenge at Sleazel Stack's Cantina, which is one of the few things I haven't done yet. Uh, this search for parts for, for my droid friend is another. These little things that are laying in the environment, you can scan for journal entries. Here's the scanner here. Wants us to go this way. We'll head down here. It wants us to go up here, so let's do. Ah! So now we're going to use our multi tool. Now I keep the multi tool in here. Now why do I do that? Well, here's the story I'm a little large. If I put the multi-tool where it's supposed to go, instead of in that little pouch, it's harder for me to reach. I have to actually push into my stomach, essentially, to do it. So, instead, let's do this. Alright, and the final one here. one. Let's do this one next. And then the last one. Alright, now let's do this last one. That opens that. 
there's a it wants us to do everything here, so what we want to do is charge these up to a position that they are acceptable, and we'll turn this, and that opens up that container. Lots of loot here. Some droid parts that I dropped, and an arm. Ah, it doesn't take up inventory space. That's good. Let's see. So if we go back down... Mount wants us to head this way. Is there anything in here we can do? No. Okay. So I think we have to go up this way. this way. So there's going to be some dudes coming out after me now. There's one. The guy on top is tricky. Let's see him in a second here. Maybe not. Where'd he go? I'm talking about. Now again, tons of weapons all over the ground here. I prefer this kind of blaster, I don't know why. I also really like the score for this game. The score is by Bear McCreary for this portion of the game. There's multiple stories in the game. Sorry, dude. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab your other gun here. Just in case I need it. Hey! That guy didn't die very well. It wasn't a very gracious death. Well, I will take his credits. Again, grab a new weapon. There are tons of them. And it wants us to go this way. This is actually going to take us out of this area. We will go ahead and shoot this little droid. Kill his little friend. Kill this guy. Steal his gun. And then we'll head out into the next section of the wilds here. So now we're going to Dead Root Refuge. Nice little uh, dissolve, similar to the old Star Wars original trilogy. So as you can see, this is kind of just a first-person shooter. It is set in the Star Wars universe. But, you know, it's... It's more Mandalorian-style Star Wars than original trilogy style Star Wars, if that makes sense. Which way does it want us to go? This way, okay. 
Did you hate that guy when he was in Java's pal Jabba's palace? Well, he's back. I'm much more colorful, as you can tell. Again, the landscapes are beautiful, just to hang out and look at. And each area of this pretty expansive, to be fair, map. Uh, is vastly different. Like, you look like you're on an alien planet, which I do really like. Oh, I just shot at a pork, my bad. Those fruit over there are edible. And there's achievements for different things that you do in the game. I thought I could just teleport up here, but I guess not. It does look like I need to get up there, though. There we go. Alright, Mobo. It's nice of you to send me as a droid tech out to fetch all of your missing cargo. Right, so we're going to move forward a little bit here. This is another one of these puzzles, so we'll go to the outer ring first. Then we'll go to the second one down. And that was pretty easy, to be fair. So I'll do that. And this will open this. So we've got arm number two here of our missing friend. And there's our gun. Hmm, how do I get up there? Can't get that high. I'm gonna go back this way, even though it's not telling me to do that. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to go this way and fight my way through. Which is unfortunate, because I don't really want to shoot these guys. Who's shooting at me? Well, it's a good thing we got this drone here. Did you 
you have a gun? No, but you had some credits. Where are you shooting from? Right behind me, of course. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. And there's a nice handy cave over here that we need to get through. Ducking through the doorways is pretty realistic. I like that a lot, actually. See that it's that way. Is there a way up there? No. I didn't think so. So when I head this way, it automatically changes to going in this direction. Now what we're looking for is two more legs. I'm gonna take this weapon so we have a nice refresh weapon. This character is of course a little dead. He's got a nice pistol. Alright, I think I got through all those guys. At least for right now. I don't really want that pistol, but let's pick it up so you can see. This is kind of like Han Solo's gun. Actually, let's make sure I'm going in the right direction. It looks like I am. Hmm, credits. I'm going to take this elevator up. So it'll take us to a different level. I believe this is actually the gang's base. I remember correctly. Which in the main game, you unlock something pretty cool here. I'm gonna actually change weapons just in case. Well, this area starts out deserted. Holster that weapon. This multi tool is actually pretty cool. I like how they made a puzzle solving tool as part of the game. In a lot of ways, this game reminds me of Half-Life Alex, because Half-Life Alex had similar, with the glove, multi-tool style puzzles. Right now, should be able to move both of those. Ah, first leg. More credits. 
Which again, I haven't actually used the credits in the game for much. Ah, there we go. Put the multi-tool in the wrong spot. And by wrong spot, I just mean wrong spot for me, like I said earlier. So, ah, it's over there. So we go over here, we should be able to open our last crate retrieve our last piece of this guy and then we'll go to Mubo's workshop. Oh wait. This is taking us back down the elevator shaft so I don't know where that last leg is. It might be in a different area. So, wants us to go that way. So we're going to go that way, through this cave. Let's see if we can get up here. Nope. I feel like we've been here before. We went through this doorway, maybe we need to go a different way. Hmm. Not any way we can go that way. This way we can go. I feel like that's definitely the path forward. Not sure how to get over there. I definitely saw some rock path formation over there though. And there's definitely something up there. Well, what we can do is travel. We haven't been to Hesig Springs, so let's go there. That's on that side. Maybe this will, uh, clue us in a little bit better into what's missing. Ah, oh, there we go. So 
So as you can see, there's droid debris all over the place. We're looking for a specific piece. I'm also looking to not get shot by Death Gang folks. So. Where are these little monkey lizards? They're so annoying. These guys. So we're gonna go this way because it says to, which is weird because this is, I believe, where we found the head for this character earlier. So it looks like that box is over there. down, put our gun away, and we've got so many things now, our multi-tool actually came out of the package. Alright, this could actually be one of the last puzzles we have to do because once we finish this, I'm not sure if it adds more to the main story. So I believe we've got all four parts that we need. We're going to travel back to Muvo's Muvo's workshop. And we are going to put together our pilot of a friend, Jax. You may see some familiar characters here. First thing we're going to do, there's this droid part recycler here. Let's do three. Five, six, Seven, eight. So all these parts that you find as you scatter and, and mill about. And they're also little mini droids. Which I will show you in just a moment here. Now this workshop is modeled after the Droid Depot at Galaxy's Edge, so you see different droids, and different spare parts and things of that nature. These little mini droids you find throughout your adventure. So you bring those back and they set up shop. They might look similar to the droids that you can purchase at the Droid Depot. Uh, there's a couple of droids over there that may seem familiar as well. This is Mubo. Hi Mubo. And this is Jax, and as you can see, Jax is armless and legless. That's the last piece. Give him another zap. So now, what I have to do is attach them with these little electrical pulses. And that should fix them up. Are you gonna gonna make him run? Yo, move up. What 
what did I just do that for? Like, he's just hanging out here. That's unfortunate. Alright, so... That's gonna be it for Mubo here. Oh, thank goodness. He's back online. Is this what you biotics feel like when you wake up? This is awful. Just a few more minutes of sleep, Maker. Probably just a lot of gunk in his circuits. I'll give him an oil bath. He'll be good as new. There we go. All right, so we're we're done here at the droid depot. We're gonna go back uh, and hopefully claim our extra mission credit for the problem with porgs. We got three of three, but we got shut out of the cantina. So let's go back to the cantina. Maybe if we walk up to Sleazel Stack. There it is, 50 credits added. 100 credits added. Lots of credits added. You got the board now? Did you? You know. I did not. No, no, actually, you know what? Don't tell me. I don't want to be an accessory after the fact. I'm just thankful. There's another one right there. Oh, I thought you f***ed them all. Forget it. You know, I'll take care of this one myself. Uh-oh. I can't do it. It's tricky. It's basically a customer. I can't kick out a customer. <laughs> I mean, look how adorable the thing is. I Those agree. gigantic eyes. Oh, my gosh. I hate it. Whoa! Oh, easy, little Porgy! <laughs> Bit of a drinking problem on this I one. hear that. I call him Porgy. He calls me bad. So, also in this is the Temple of Darkness. I haven't played this one yet. This is actually one of the tales. So, if we click on tales here, Temple of Darkness is a legendary tale. Sleazel Stack tells here in his cantina. And there are at least two more coming soon uh, in 2021. Um... At this point, I've played through all of the sections of the main game. Those take you through the Batu Wilds, so Three Suns Outlook or Overlook, Dead Root Refuge, Splintered Spire, and Keysig Springs, which we were just in. We've been to Mubo's Workshop and Sleazel Stack's Cantina. That's the extent of the locations in the game. Again, you can play with this jukebox here in the Cantina. You can go check out the Millennium Falcon and play some darts and you can play the special bonus tale that Sleazel Stack tells you actually fade into the body of a Jedi uh, and so instead of using a blaster and it being a first person shooter it becomes a lightsaber battler this has been a quick look at one of the missions I didn't want to spoil any of the main story uh, in Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge the atmosphere is cool. Uh, the gameplay, it's about four hours total. Um, and that's unlocking everything. I've, I've, I've done pretty much anything. The challenges that are left, I've got a droid destroyer. I have to kill one more of those big viper droids to finish that one. Uh, repulsor darts, which is beating the main score in the dartboard game. And darkness in us all, which is part of the uh, Tails mission that I haven't done. But otherwise, I've done literally everything else in the game at this point. Um, so, around four hours of content for $24.99. This is currently exclusive to Oculus Quest and Quest 2. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Also, may the Force be with you. I wonder if I can, you know, leave Batu and... Maybe hire that freighter out there for passage. See you next time. Bye-bye now.